Cutting is a process in which the leather, textiles and other synthetic materials that make up the footwear are cut. Each piece is different, depending on the symmetry and the size. Once the various materials have been analysed and approved, they are prepared for cutting. The specialist uses various cutting dies for each piece. Being a living material, leather has defects. The dies have to be positioned so as to avoid the damaged areas of the leather, while at the same time achieving maximum yield. The characteristics of textiles enable them to be cut in a group. Automatic machines make it possible to cut textiles and synthetics as well as leather. The pieces are positioned by direct projection with a pattern software. A blade attached to an independent head cuts the material. The various pieces that make up the boot are skived in the areas where they will be joined. In the stitching section, specialists join the pieces together by sewing them with high resistance thread. When this process is finished, the boot looks like the final result, except for attaching the sole. The soles are attached to the boots using two different processes. Cementing process. For this process, the upper of the boot needs to be prepared with an initial moulding phase. The back part is moulded by applying heat and cold. Then it is lasted and the insole is incorporated. After this, the upper is fitted to the last using an automatic pinching system starting in the toe area and ending in the area of the back part and waist. Once the upper has been prepared, a robot roughs the leather in the area that will be joined to the sole to ensure that it is properly fixed. A first coat of primer is applied to clean the cementing areas of impurities and then the adhesive is applied to both the upper and the sole. The upper and the sole are placed into an oven to reactivate the adhesive and the specialist joins the two parts together by hand. Then they are placed in a press where they are fixed. They are moved directly to a cold chamber where the bond between the sole and the leather is permanently strengthened. The specialist removes the last and the impurities from the process. The boot is ready for the finishing section. Injection process. As in the cementing process, the upper needs to be prepared in the moulding process. Insoles are incorporated and the safety toe caps are fitted. The upper is lasted. Direct injection is a process performed by filling a mould with polyurethane under specific pressure and temperature conditions. First of all, the most resistant part, which will be in contact with the floor, is injected. If necessary, a robot will rough the part where the upper joins the sole. The corresponding mould is opened, allowing entry to the upper. Once it is fixed, it is closed and the foam-filled midsole part is injected. This will enhance the user's comfort. A high durability polyurethane has been developed thanks to Fal Seguridad's R&D department. When the injection is finished, a robot cleans the mould again with wax-based products. 
The specialist removes the boot from its last. When the excess polyurethane has been removed, it goes into the finishing line. After the cementing or injection processes, the specialists of Fal Seguridad apply the final touches to the boot for optimum presentation and subsequent use. Gore-Tex Membrane is a waterproof and breathable laminate that gives the boot optimum climate comfort. It is cut and joined in a series of pieces, forming a booty or sock. The seams are thermo-sealed with the same material to ensure that its properties are maintained. Once the booties have been constructed, they are subjected to an immersion test to check that they are all in optimum condition to be incorporated into the upper of the boot. When they have been checked, the booties are joined to the upper solely by being sewn at the neck of the boot to facilitate breathability. When manufacturing is finished, the final product is tested to confirm that the Gore-Tex membrane has not been damaged during the production process. For this purpose, the boots are filled with water and placed in a centrifuge for 30 minutes. The pressure exerted by centrifugal force would make water appear on the outer surface if the membrane were damaged. An immersion test is also performed in which the boots are subjected to 200,000 flexions submerged in water, equivalent to walk for five days in water without stopping. The Fal Seguridad Laboratory is an essential element of the company's philosophy. The entire production process is subjected to the strictest quality controls. This is where the performance of all the raw materials and the finished product is verified. The Fal Seguridad Laboratory is fitted with sophisticated equipment and is capable of carrying out the most rigorous testing of materials and finished product required to ensure compliance with international standards.